Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing another live reading. Let's react to Final Craze. Okay, it's the weekend. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Okay. So today, September 10th, it says take refuge. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. The more I seek you, Lord, the more obvious it becomes to me that there was no substitute for your presence. With you, I am safe and sure. Thank you for the people you have put in my life. Help me to appropriately recognize that they are only my support and not my source of saving grace. Okay? It's something you can ask yourself as how has the Lord provided you refuge when people couldn't. Okay? So, let's see. What's currently going on in the love life for the son of Aquarius? Okay, for my collective, let's see. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands here. Somebody's gonna be coming towards you very soon here. It could be up to eight days, eight weeks, okay, or eight months here, but somebody's gonna be seeing some type of um, communication here, okay? And we have here the death, or you, some of you guys could have got communication in August, the last month here, okay? We have the death card here, about somebody transforming their life here with the death card, or somebody could have passed away in their family or your family here, okay? With the death card, Scorpio energy, and we have the page of swords and the fool, okay? So I'm seeing here that somebody could have been studying, okay, on how to transform themselves, okay? Could be reading books, okay, on how they can ascend, okay? Or how, they, how can they improve their lives here, okay? Yeah, but somebody's going to definitely go to some type of awakening here. Okay, and we have the full card here. This person is lurking on you, watching you, okay? And they're ready to take this leap of faith with you. Go on this new journey with you, okay? I'm seeing here this person could have thought in the past it would have been a fool's decision to come towards you here. But I'm seeing here this person is watching you transform as well here. It's like they want to um, do what you're doing here. They're inspired by you here, okay? And you have the four pinnacles here. Yeah, somebody's holding on to you. Persons, places, and things here. Okay, they're holding on to you. We have the ten of swords here. Okay, so someone has went through some type of betrayal here with the ten of swords. I'm hearing um like a bell. So I'm seeing here this the universe is sending this person a bell. Okay, a lot of confirmation here that they need to move on, that they need to transform their life. That this person have a dated already here. But I'm seeing if the ten of swords here, this person went through some type of betrayal here. Somebody could have betrayed you as well here, up to ten times here. And it's like somebody could have played like the victim here, like you hurt them. Okay. Or well, somebody could be in prison as well with the Ten of Swords here. That's about prison. And we have the Ten of Cups here. Okay, so I'm seeing here with some type of betrayal here. It's some type of family dynamic here. We have the Ten Ten. And you know, Ten is about Enix here. So this person had to go through this pain here to um, go towards the light with the Ten of Cups to be with somebody that's going to fulfill them happily, right? And we have the Star here. Okay, they need to heal themselves. Okay. And we have the King of Cups here. Yeah, this person has a lot of love for you, okay? Cares so much about you, sees you as the Ten of Cups, wants to marry you, okay? Wants to be in a long-term committed relationship with you, okay? All right. And we have the Five of Swords here. So I'm seeing here this person feels defeated in that situation that they was in already here. And this person got to have a lot of self-sabotaging thoughts here when they felt like they couldn't do it. They wasn't good enough here. Okay, and we have the Judgment here. I'm seeing this person, I just sent that I heard the bells, do not, and it's a Judgment. And it's a, a big bell right here. So this person most definitely has to make a decision, okay? And knows that they have to make a decision. It's like the universe is sending this person, like, you know, ringing ringing in their ear like come on now it's, it's time and we have the three of wands here now this person is contemplating looking towards the future okay waiting for either some type of shifts to come in so they can move towards you either could be in business with the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here some type of money some type of income that's going to come in for this person okay you guys could have distance as well so this person could be thinking about you know getting a ticket to come and see you here Okay, and we have the High Priestess here. Yeah, this person is receiving a lot of intuitive messages about you. We've receiving a lot of dreams about you. Okay, clarify the High Priestess. The Two of Pentacles here. Seven of Wands. Okay. So I'm seeing here, okay, that this person, to clarify the, the High Priestess here, we have the Two of Pentacles here. We have the Seven of Wands here. We have the Sun. And we have the Page of Cups here. Okay, so this person could have paid a spiritualist here for the Two of Pentacles here. And okay, and it's like they, um, is very defensive here because they want to fight for this connection here. And it's like they have become enlightened because the spiritualist told them, okay, that they need to fight for this connection here because this person juggled you a lot here. And it's like this, you were this person happiness here. And you need to kind of give this person an apology. Okay, so that's what the spiritualist could have told this person. But now this person knows what they need to do. Okay, they know. Intuit intuitively they know okay and it's like right now they're juggling a lot but they're very um 
ready to defend this connection with you, okay? Because you are this person happiness here, and this person wants to give you an offer here. Okay, this person can know that new love could be coming for you, coming in for you as well here. And that could cause them to be defensive as well. Okay. And we have here the six of swords. So now this person's trying to overcome any obstacles that they're dealing with right now. Okay. And we have the king of swords here. Yeah. So this person right now is not saying anything. Okay. Even though the king of swords is very intelligent, very wise. Okay. They speak their truth here. But I'm seeing here that this person could be speaking up for this, them, themselves. Okay. With the king of swords here, which is blue. And that's about throat chakra here. Okay. And I'm also seeing this person have two, like, two little karmics in the back of them that's watching them as well here, yeah, trying to see if they're going to make a move towards you. And we have the Eight of Cups and the Seven of Cups here. So this person is fantasizing about being with you, okay? Leaving the situation that no longer serve them and being with somebody that's their wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups, okay? But I'm seeing this person is becoming very intelligent, very wise here. And we have the King of Pentacles here. Yeah, I'm seeing this person is very confused in the past. Okay, very upset in the two-year world here. Okay, and we have the Seven of Cups here and the Three of Swords here. So this person was definitely got their heart broken here in the situation. Okay, very angry, very upset. Okay, and yeah, some type of relationship here that they was in. We have the Seven of Cups here. So this person was very confused, was in a fantasy world, thinking that this is what they were supposed to be doing. But it's like they was overdoing it here. Okay, and it got... They got stabbed. Mm -hmm. They got stabbed here. It's like it caused them to be in this energy with the five cuts, having regret, feeling bad um, for whoever with, whoever they treated wrong here. It's like it came back to them. We have the sun card here. Okay. Now this person is enlightened. Okay. And it's like the queen of swords here. Okay. So we clarify this queen of swords. Clarify the queen of swords. Okay. Okay. So we have here a queen of swords here that he was a player with. Okay. This person is trying her hardest to hold on to this person. She could really be trying to have a baby with this person here, okay? But I'm seeing here, it's like she wants the person to keep giving to her equally, okay? She don't care if this person is a player with the Knight of Wands here. She's trying to have the strength to hold on, and she's trying to control this person here. And with the Queen of Swords here, it's like she, she, she thinks she's very intelligent and wise here, and she knows how to... Um, talk to this masculine she knows to stay to this masculine to get to this masculine here okay and it's like the queen of wands here she's being very dominated very aggressive here very controlling here with the queen of wands here and she's trying her hardest to hold on to this connection here because she wants she likes the luxury the luxurious things that this person gives to her here uh -huh. and she knows about this person wanting to commit elsewhere to her but it's taking a long time here and i'm seeing here it's giving her a lot of happiness here knowing that this person has can hasn't committed to whoever they want to take a new leap of faith with okay it's like she's, she feels like she's winning the battle here, okay? And we have the Two of Swords here, and it's keeping this person at a, a stalemate, confused. Two of Swords here, okay? And that's giving her justice here. But I know this person is confused at a stalemate here. Yep, she could argue with this person a lot, try to control the situation, be very dominant and aggressive here, okay? You know, this person could be scared to speak up to her. But she's very, she speak up for herself here with the Queen of Swords here. She's very, like, blunt, okay? Yeah, and we have the Star card reverse. So, so it's like she's not healed, right? And it's like the Eight of Swords here. It's like she is very stressed out. She goes back and forth in this connection as well, okay? She wants this person to feel trapped. She don't want this person to go on and heal here, okay? And I'm seeing here, if this person does make a decision to go towards somebody that's healed, it's like she's going to either want to take this person to court, okay? Yeah, we have the hyphen at the bottom of the deck here. They could be in some type of commitment or relationship here. Clarify the justice. Yeah, it's like with the four of wands here and the four of swords here. It's like she either trying to heal from this situation here, okay? She's either trying to heal from the situation or she she knows that if this person goes towards a twin flame situation, this person is going to be very healed, okay? She knows that this person wants to give justice to somebody else here. Yeah, and it's like she knows that this person have happiness coming and she don't want this person to heal. She wants this person to stay trapped and miserable like she is. Yeah, she wants this person to stay are the king of wands here, just focused on the business here, okay, like she is. She wants this person to pay attention to their finances here, okay, pay attention to being a leader, things that's not going to help this person to ascend, okay, but I'm seeing here with the world card is going to come to a completion eventually, okay, and this person is going to plant a new seed here with the Ace of Pentacles, okay, so that's that situation. So tell me about this connection, Spirit Guides, and your light and sister masters. Tell me about this connection. Protect with like your negative energies. 
came about this connection. Okay, we have awakening. Yeah, this person is going through some type of spiritual awakening here. Okay, so if someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. I'm seeing this person transform. If they don't know about the person that they're with, their karmic is like this person is going to awaken into it. Everything's going to happen in divine time in here. We have stability. It said this relationship can stand the test of time. So this person could offer you stability here. You know, it can, it can stand, okay? It's not broken yet. It's not nothing that you can not repair yet, okay? Okay. We have here wait, yeah. It says the time is not quite right. Okay, so spirit is saying wait. And we have here addiction. So somebody still has some addictions here, okay? That they need to deal with. And addiction is affecting this relationship here. We have leap of faith, okay? Spirit is saying it is safe to make the move you're considering. And we have acceptance. So spirit is saying accept everything, okay? Everything has for a reason here, okay? Mm hmm. I'm seeing that this person is speaking to this person. So when this person awakening, it's like spirit is saying it's so it's safe to take the move that you're considering. Okay, don't be scared. Okay, to take this new faith and go on this new journey here. Okay, and we have here trust. Spirit is saying it is safe to trust in the situation. Okay, trust that everything is happening how it's supposed to happen here. Okay, but wait. What else? What we have here time apart. So some time apart. Okay, will help bring clarity in the situation here because this person still needs some addiction, still have some addictions that they need to deal with. Okay, and we have here true love. Okay, so this is most definitely true love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. So both, both of you guys love each other equally here. Okay, let's see. What does this person want to say to the prayer spirit guys, love light, assist masses, or whoever resonates with the story? What do they want to say? Okay. We have here, you speak to me through music. So you guys could like music. Okay, this person can be an artist here. Okay. We have here, I wish things could be different. So this person wish things could be different right now, but you guys could already be with each other. You were the best thing in my life. We have here, I love you. I hate who I really am from you, okay? You don't know how hard it was to let you go. So it was very hard for this person to let you go. And we have here, I know I was distracted from your pain. So you both you guys could have pain. It's like when you guys got with each other, it's like you didn't even remember what you was going through, okay? And we have here, you came closer than anyone, okay? So you came closer to anyone this person has met, okay? So, I hope this video gave you a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!